The month of April is Endometriosis Awareness Month, and today we are on your side with the warning signs of endometriosis and how you can get treatment. Dr. Saul Weinreb is an OBGYN with Shelby Baptist Medical Center, joining us now virtually via Zoom. How you doing, Doc? I'm doing very well, thank you, how are you? I'm doing good, so I've gotta ask you, I was telling you, I, I don't know a whole lot about endometriosis, so tell me, what is it? Well, endometriosis is a, a pretty common condition uh, in which uh, cells that usually line the inside of the uterus, which is the lining known as the endometrium, those cells which typically are shed with the menstrual cycle every month outside the body, but sometimes they could sit, go backwards and set up inside the pelvis or in other areas in the abdomen, which can cause a lot of inflammation and pain. So this happens to females. Can it happen to any yeah. woman, any, any girl, any lady, what? Well, in general, it happens with women that are at an age where they're having menstrual periods. It can, it has been reported in younger girls that haven't yet had their periods. And occasionally in more severe cases, some of the symptoms can persist past menopause. But in general, it's related to women that are having cycles. Any type of common symptoms, something that, that people need to be aware yeah. of? Yeah, the most common is painful or heavy periods, uh, pain with sex. Uh, some people women could have issues with bowel movements. It can have those kinds of symptoms and occasionally can cause infertility and difficulty conceiving a pregnancy. Is there any type of cure for this? Unfortunately, we have no cure, but there are many treatments that can significantly alleviate the symptoms and make it much more manageable and improve women's lifestyle but an actual cure we don't really have. Yeah, what kind of treatment are we talking about? So many of these treatments are hormonal therapies mm -hmm. uh, using uh, various medications that can reduce the severity of the periods, reduce the severity of inflammation. In mild cases, just pain medications can work. In more severe cases, surgery can sometimes remove some of the inflammation to improve the symptoms significantly. Well, it goes, kind of goes hand in hand with the treatment. If you're diagnosed with this, are there particular steps that you want to go to before you make final decisions? Well, I would advise strongly with these kinds of symptoms to see a physician that specializes in this kind of care and with uh, he or she can work through with you um, all kinds of options. And it really depends on the specific woman and exactly what she's going through and what her goals are. Dr. Saul Weinreb, good information right there. I know you're helping our female viewers right there, and hopefully they will follow some of the advice that you're talking about and, and remain aware. Thank you so much for joining us today, okay? And thank you. Thank All you right. so much. Have a great day. Thanks. All right, Fred, take it from here.